Hello, this is Stephen from We All Review the Movies. Today's actor review is John Travolta. The first movies of uh, John Travolta's that I've seen was Grease. Grease is a superbly energizing sing-along and dancing movie that made Travolta a heartthrob. His charms were very clear to be seen along with those classic catchy songs that is still popular today. Like a Hallmark card, and you care enough to send the very best. Um, this spring, make a date, take a friend, and relive the magic that started it all. Look Who's Talking movies, uh, Look Who's Talking 2 and Look Who's Talking Now. I wasn't that fond of them, to be honest with you. They're amiable enough films. Kirstie Alley. Give me some drugs. Oh, thank you a really lot. Now that is a little more like it. Hey, here's Mr. Hand here. Wow. And Bruce Willis as the voice of Mikey. Help! Help! Put me back in! Put me back in! Pulp Fiction was the Tarantino classic that made Travolta a real force to be reckoned with. An iconic film that delivered some truly iconic performances. Take care. No. Show a good time, make sure she don't get lonely. Girl. You see, this is a moral test of oneself. I do believe Marcellus, my husband, your boss, told you to take me out and do whatever I wanted. I love you so much, can't count Whether or not, you can maintain loyalty. Broken Arrow is the, is the John Woo directed actioner. Stars Christian Slater and Travolta as the bad guy. Slater's the good guy, and Broken Arrow is a fun actioner that has Wu's signature action style. ...against any threat. Carrying the nukes. You love having the power of God at your fingertips. Not tonight, buddy. But what if the enemy is one of them? What the hell are you doing? We got pilots down. A broken what? It's what we call it when we lose a nuclear weapon. I don't know what's scarier, losing nuclear weapons, but that it happens so often there's actually a term for it. The only thing more dangerous than what he knows. They believe they've got an exposed core. They gotta send it in if the emergency search team. By the time they find us, we'll be gone. Is what he's prepared to do. Face off is another John Woo directed movie. It's a highly entertaining actioner with Nicolas Cage. The film has a really crazy plot as we have Cage and Travolta swap, swapping faces and trying to outdo each other. Critical assassinations. He uh, has a felony list a mile long. Murder, arson, kidnapping, terrorism, you name it. He's the most dangerous and brilliant criminal mind I've ever known. I, for years I've, I've been watching him. Tracking him, studying his every every move. I know his every every mannerism, every facial tick, gesture. I know him better than he knows himself. And now, after all this time, I finally figured out a way to trap him. I will become him. Civil action is a slow but effective legal thriller that has a lot to say, but unfortunately, it, it's never it says it in a very engrossing way. 12 deaths over 15 years, eight of them children. They think it has something to do with the city's drinking water. Why does their pain become my pain? I'm not interested in money. None of us are. That's not why we're doing this. What we want to know is what happened. I wish I could find a way not to empathize with them. It'd be a lot easier. His opponents will misjudge him. Jan, that suit fits you better than the sentimentality. His clients will distrust him. Five point something million dollars spent on what exactly? First class travel, four star hotels. His partners will desert him. Everybody in the firm's working only on this case, which means we have no money coming in. We're talking about our careers here. But the truth. Maybe you could uh, go out there to the river. Will redeem him. Somewhere out here, somebody had to have seen what happened. These families will never testify. His employers are like loyal subjects. None of them will talk. We're three lawyers. They're 300. 
Yeah. If he wants a number. Eight million. I can't go to the families with that. Eight million says that we let them get away with murder. From the number one national bestseller. Every dollar we spend is a dollar we don't have. Mortgage my house. I have. Swordfish, uh, Travolta delivers another wacky villain performance. It's a, in this, it's a slick and big budget film that is fun but ultimately forgettable. But I can buy nuclear warheads for 40 million each. Hell, I buy half a dozen, I even get a discount. What do you think is going to happen if he starts tying up loose ends? My employer wants to meet you. He'll pay you just to meet you, Stan. Ever heard of Operation Swordfish? No. This is a sweet deal. Nine and a half billion. Do you have any idea of how much money that is? We go in over the phone lines, pop the firewall, sit back, wait for the money. So what we need from you, Stanley, is a worm. Marco, let's give him some incentive. Hey, what are you doing? The Massive Disturbance was not received that well by critics, but I really enjoyed it. It's a solid thriller that has Travolta. Uh, he's the father who splits up with his wife. The wife goes with this new guy, played by Vince Vaughn and sort of all those kids living with the mother and uh, Vince Vaughn and the kid witnesses Vaughn kill somebody and uh, Travolta has to try and prove that v Vince Vaughn is the bad guy that his son knows he is. Good enough. Paramount Pictures presents Dan lies to his mom, teachers, just about everybody. But, but what? He didn't lie to me. John Travolta. I know that liar. That's Ray's lighter. He gave it to me. You just have this dusted for prints. I am not wasting any more time on this kid's story. Do you think I'm going to endanger my own child by marrying a killer? Vince Vaughn. Have you had a dream about a murder? What you think you saw and what you think that you know is only a nightmare. You don't want every moment of your life to be a big screaming nightmare, do you, Dan? Indicted for loan sharking, extortion. I'm prepared to give you half of everything. You got the wrong guy. You really love your dad, don't you? What do you mean? How would you feel if something happened to him? Huh? You don't lay off. He's gonna kill you. From the director of Sea of Love and Malice. I have never failed Danny ever. And I'm not gonna fail him now. Basic was the highly confusing and complex army mystery. That it delivers some neat twists that make it worthwhile. This is their most dangerous weapon. My rangers are gone. And 24 hours ago, he led his men into the jungle and disappeared. But guys like Wes don't just vanish off the face of the earth. They disappear for a reason. I know. Because he trained me. Before he left the service, Tom Hardy was the best interrogator I'd ever seen. He could get in your head faster than anyone I know. This kid we have an interrogation requested a ranger, someone he'd never met. That's you. I questioned him for two hours. He didn't make a sound. You tried poking him with a stick? Oh, how about them Yankees? What happened out there? Wait, don't say it. I'll tell you. They're dead, aren't they? It's not like that. It's not. You think you know everything. You haven't even scratched the surface. Am I scratching your surface yet? Ah! Punisher, which was uh, based on the comic book uh, superhero The Punisher. It's a gritty and highly entertaining revenge movie. Travolta is, uh, plays the uh, criminal uh, Howard Sand, who's this rich uh, kingpin who has, who has FBI agent Frank Castle, who turns into The Punisher. He has Frank Castle's family killed. He goes for revenge against Travolta and his family. It's a terrifically violent and entertaining superhero movie that is well worth seeing. The future was something my family would never see. No! They thought they murdered me. They were wrong. Ladder 49 is a simple story about courageous men, firefighters, doing what they do, and it works well, I think, because of a capable cast. It's People are always asking me, 
How is it that firefighters run into a burning building when everyone else is running out? Courage is the answer. Hairspray is a fun and likable musical that I'm sure Travolta thought would be his return to Greece, but slightly different role as he's playing this. He's playing a woman, a overweight woman, and he's wearing. And it's, he's hardly recognizable. Um, it has some enjoyable songs. It works well because of the brilliant cast, which includes Christopher Walken, Jerry Stiller, and Michelle Pfeiffer. Wanted something bigger. Dancing on that show is my dream. <laughs> there comes a time to break all the rules. Want to be one of the nicest kids in town? Cut school tomorrow and come to audition. No one in this house is auditioning for anything. But Ma! Uh, Amber? Save your personal life for the camera, sweetie. Oh! Shiny. Taking of Pelham 1, 2, 3 is a solid action flick that is brought alive really by Travolta and Denzel's chemistry. I mean, they don't meet uh, until late in the movie, but they have a lot of phone conversations. Perfect place in the subway to stop the train. You deliver that money. Me? You want to use one of these? No. What the hell are they doing? Now somebody else has to die. <laughs> I do like you, man. You may be the last friend I ever make. Pelham 1, 2, 3. Old Dogs is a... Uh, a times enjoyable affair that has its heart in the right place, but it's really only for kids. Good safe hands. Become the new dad may have some side effects. Paranoia. You remind me of that old dude who stole my girlfriend. What are you saying? My beef is not with you, old woman. Thank you. Excessive appetite. I love that guy. Sudden bouts of rage. <laughs> Uncontrollable laughter. Facial paralysis. Skin discoloration. And sudden loss of depth perception. <laughs> From Paris with Love is Travolta's latest movie. I actually thought it was quite dull. It really is. It really does anything worthwhile, except for near the end, where the action becomes a little bit more interesting. I do things. He's a mad influence. What the? And the only thing keeping him alive. It's this crazy partner they got me working with. John Travolta, Jonathan Reese Myers. Wax on, wax off. What are you, the Karate Kid or something? Overall, Travolta is a terrific actor that has proved that he's very versatile. He's delivered some really seedy and hateful performances as villains. But he's also had some heartwarming performances as the good guys. And in movies like Grease and uh, Hairspray, his undeniable charisma just is bursting out of him. It really is an A-list star. Thanks for watching my John Travolta review. Leave your comments below on what you think of John Travolta and all his movies.